knew he was nearby, and I sure felt vengeful all of a sudden. When someone tries to get over on you, well, anyone might naturally want to get back at them. And there's nothing compares to the feeling you get when you steal from a thief. I was restless, and I went back outside, wondering what would happen next. Sometimes the world feels like it stopped moving. Everything seems hopelessly quiet and still, and you either like it or you don't. That sort of stillness. Maybe you look for a way to silence the stillness, to silence the silence. Streaming some jazz, Yardbird or Lee Morgan on the horn. Anything to sink a bolt into the unbearable space. Or maybe you're more like me and savor the stillness. Life was really happening and the world was definitely spinning. All I knew was something's going to happen and it has got to be good. Outside there was the post and my coil lock, a defeated snake, cut up on the ground. There was the adrenaline rush came over him when he made away with the whole bike. No kryptonite people walking up and down the street unaware I could see it all going down I dropped myself down in one of the big old upholstered armchairs in the formerly spectacular lobby turned archetypal setting for a low-rate generic horror flick some called home a distant scream from better times and waited oh the madness of Oakland California I wasn't upset anymore. I knew he was coming. I could feel him in the stale air. I was more disappointed by his underestimation of me. After all, did I not possess the aura of someone with whom you do not play? He must not have known me, I thought, for did I not look pretty damn tough in my Sonic Youth t-shirt, black leather, and skinny jeans? My best friend Bless and I dyed our hair the other night. And she turned me on to the idea of a silver streak in a half-spiked pixie, which caught the sunlight well. Maybe glued the wrong eyes on me, but I didn't mind. The thief, he could have took me for just another punk, but I was nevertheless definitive not to be fucked with material. I don't care if he was senseless. I thought I was pretty damn cool, and I didn't have a cigarette hanging off my lip. And I hadn't died by 27 like all the rock stars, no. The stars are bright. The stars are light. The stars come out tonight. In the world, she is fresh after the rains. And I think I'm pretty cool, but I don't rock the latest iPhone or anything. I don't even broadcast on Instagram. Night will come, and the quiet hours, the minutes, the peaceful seconds, and I'm feeling pretty righteous, but... I don't subscribe to no religion, no. I got my own spirit to contend. I think I'm pretty cool, but I'm not on any fashion cover. I think I'm pretty sweet, but you wouldn't want to cross me. I don't own any guns, but I believe in civil rights. I don't care a medical Mary Jane card, but I get high off life. I'm only as capable as I believe I can be. You and me can only make it if we give it our all dripping wet with paint off the canvas in the hall. I think I'm pretty cool, but not because of anything I have or anybody you think I am, no. I like to keep my blood pumping and circulating through this underworld. Call it an obsession and it might be in my head. The motivation is to shine a light for anyone in the darkness. The hope in these long early hours, these minutes, these seconds of quiet and calm allow the life I have which has by no means been nice, to channel through me to bring an end to something terrible and senseless. Someone needs some help, or you know you're not alone, together through the thick layers of media glaze that keeps us groping in the haze, our heads held high, uncool, unfashionable, looking like losers getting old, feeling like freaks, impoverished on the streets sometimes, depressed for many weeks, without a friend in the world, burning through desire, ceaseless in our inquiry, agnostic to the core. When life is no longer a mystery, you're history.